Bill's father told us the story that when he was a boy growing up, he used to watch the Indians paddle down the bay in their canoes. Right. And the peninsula to Traverse City. Helen Milliken, a longtime champion of the environment, showed off her beloved Traverse City home to our Chuck Stokes four years ago. She passed away this morning after fighting ovarian cancer. Michigan's longest serving first lady was a trailblazer for many issues. Editorial director Chuck Stokes is here now with a look at her influence on our state. Bill Milliken had influence, certainly. Helen Milliken, a very, very powerful figure as well. Well, they were. Um, during the beginning of his term, she was sort of laid back. But as the longer he served, the more she emerged. And she was a force in her own right, even after he served the longest term in Michigan history, uh, when Howard Wolpe ran for governor, he asked her to run on the ticket. She said no, but it shows that long after Governor Milliken left political office, that she was still out there giving speeches about women's rights and equal rights and about the environment, uh, abortion rights. She was, uh, she was no wallflower by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and she was a powerful woman too. And she was fiercely independent, very, very intelligent. Both of them were, in, were intelligent. And, you know, a lot of times you can tell a lot about people, um, not so much by what they say, but by their surroundings. Mm -hmm. And when you go into their home in Traverse City, books are everywhere. I mean, you gotta walk around them. And it's not messy, it's just, you can tell these are people who read books, not just there for show. Very, very intelligent. Um, but Dave, about, uh, what I went up there for four years ago was an interview that I did with Governor Milliken, and it was the first time he admitted who he voted for in the last election. I think we have a soundbite on that. So, Governor, would it be safe to make the assumption that you voted for Senator Barack Obama? Okay. I did not make any public endorsement, but I will tell you uh, directly and honestly that I voted. I voted for Senator Obama for president. And I have no regrets about having done that. That's uh, Bill Milligan. He spoke hey, his mind. And, I, and, and covering stories in Detroit, Chuck, uh, still to this day, I have uh, Detroiters tell me, Bill Milliken, that was the last good governor we had in the state of Michigan. And he was a Republican. Right. Like people. People loved People Bill liked Milliken. him. Democrats liked him. Uh, you know, they were the odd couple with Coleman Young. They uh, they went head to head at the times, but they also had a good relationship. Good man, uh, good woman, and uh, uh, Michigan will remember her fondly, I believe. Indeed, Chuck. 